is my present from my hubby, you guys, is a Forever Mark wedding band for our five-year wedding anniversary. I, I just got the band early because he loves me so much. Like, what a blessing. Unfortunately, that blessing has turned into a nightmare for Kim and Croy. Is y'all ready to go into this deep dive? Because I sure am. Let's juice. Come on, Blaze. It's a beat for me. Wow, 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 What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Voodoo Doll TV, bake with a quick little joke or whatever the case may be. And we're going to get straight into it because I got a lot of things to discuss. Now, Kim and Croy Beerman. We all know Kim Zosiak from the hit show Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh, there's time. Can I just be honest with you? I've never in my whole life seen a like that. Yeah? We were all sitting at the table. I was like, 10. Hi. Hey, oh, I just wanted you? to uh, drop my information to you if you ever want to go to the yeah, game. Yeah. Let me give you my number. Call me. We'll go have a drink. Do I think he'll call me? Duh. Would you call me? Cashmere sold 15 million his first year, sweetie. Girl, 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 girl. Oh, girl. This girl Stop. is delusional. And also from her hit show with her husband, Croy, don't be tardy for the party. That, you know, real. Doesn't want people to know that, or, or you know, have, you know, different dads. I mean, have they thought about, you know, real? In high school and people say things to her, they pick on her as they already. No, they don't care. Yeah. My dad knows the two things that I pride myself on is honesty and the kind of mother I am. And he stripped from me publicly the two things that I really try to pride myself on. So when Kim met Croy, she had two daughters from a previous relationship and they adored him. They actually liked everything about Croy. They wanted him to be their stepdad. It was just amazing at first. Kim would later go on to have five other kids by Croy and they would have this big happy Brady Bunch family and everything was just great. Kim was living a fabulous life. She was driving new cars and she always presented this life that she was very well to do financially and everything was just great in her marriage. Well, what we didn't know behind the scene was everything in the marriage was falling apart. The once happy life that Kim had that everyone adored was actually crumbling behind the gates. So there have been many stories about Kim and Croy's relationship, them going back and forth with divorce, them figuring out their lives, how they're going to go on and move on, and actually if they're going to stay together or separate. Well, it turns out Things have been more rockier than we know. In order to get in front of some of the bad rumors, Kim decided to send some posts out on Instagram, like this one basically saying, oh baby, what a way to end 2023, link in bio. And fans were speculating, okay, what's going on? We've seen so much of this back and forth. There have been multiple reports about everything going on behind the scenes. Why this, why now? Fans were wondering, is this a ploy to try to get another show on Bravo or what's really going on? So let's take a look at what's been happening. So on May 8th, it was reported that Real Housewives of Atlanta, Kim Zosiak files for divorce from Croy Bierman. And everybody was like, what is going on? I was watching this in the background, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I typically like to stay out of the clear people's business. But ever since this new recent uh, video, body cam footage have come up, I have to do this deep dive because I was interested in Kim when she starred on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So now that we're getting into it, she filed for divorce. May 8, 2023, and fans were in a disarray. They were like, what is going on? Kim and Croy is so perfect together. What's happening? Why are we here and how did we get here? Let's dive into a few things that I found. As news was circulating about the divorce, things had been reported to other news sites and blogs, and it was just getting insane. So one report from TVD says, Croy Bierman thinks Kim Zosiak is using their split to get back on RHOA and claims he is the main caregiver of their four minor children, according to page six. Oh, wow. It says he's a legend. He's been picking up all the slack, cleaning the home, picking up after the children and preparing their meals since they've had to fire nannies, chefs and housekeepers due to their severe financial issues. Girl, what is going on? 
Oh, Croy done became Mr. Mom, girl. Let's move on. So then other um news, it says Kim Zosiak and Croy Beerman have listed their Georgia mansion for six million of them things. TMZ reports, it says the former RHOA star was resistant to selling the house amid the couple's financial issues and ongoing divorce proceedings. Oh my God. So, you know, this is, let me just say this before we move on. A lot of us think that these people behind these gates are just living the life. Everything is great. And a lot of times, child, that ain't what it is. But let's move on. Now, in other news, you think that was bad. Girl, look at this. They said, remember, I didn't say it, but they said Real Housewives couple Kim Zosiak and Croy Beerman divorcing owing $1 million in unpaid taxes. Girl, come lock me up today because I can't pay it back. Girl, just let me do my time. How much I need to do on my head, please. According to Forbes, girl, look at what they said. They said former Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kim Zosiak Beerman has denied reports of financial difficulties for some time. But it appears that the bills are finally catching up to her. The IRS has filed federal liens against Zosiak Beerman and her husband, former NFL outsider linebacker Croy Beerman, in excesses of $1.1 million. The article goes on to say last fall, the Bravo star and Beerman reportedly defaulted on a $1.65 million loan on their Fulton County, Georgia home. People reported that Truist Bank would auction off the property in March of 2023, but Zosiak Beerman remained defiant, saying on an Instagram post, okay, you guys, my house has not sold for $257,000. If you guys think I would let my home that we put millions and millions of dollars into go for $257,000, you're an idiot, okay? For real. The Alpharetta, Georgia house is estimated to be worth $2.4 million by Redfin, which also indicates that it sold for $880,000. What? On October 23rd, 2012. Okay, that's when he bought it, girl. Almost scared me. Into the divorce section, it says, if social media is to be believed, Zosiak Beerman and Beerman have remained in the house since that time. However, the financial issues may have taken a toll. Today, it was reported that the couple has filed for divorce. They've been married for 11 years and shared four children Kaya, or is it Kaya? KJ, I don't know. Kaya, Rose, Kane Wren, Cash Cade, and Croy Jagger. Girl, this is too many Ks. All right, Kim. All right, anyway, moving on. Beerman also adopted Kim's daughters, Brielle and Ariana. The date of separation is noted as April 30th, with the marriage being described as irretrievably broken with no hope of reconciliation. Zosiak Beerman is seeking primary physical custody of their children, joint legal custody, and spousal support. Oh, she want all the money, girl. She also plans to retake her maiden name, Zosiak. I didn't think, I mean, we still knew her as that, but uh, let's move on. In the background section, it says, Zosiak Beerman appeared as one of the original housewives on The Real Housewives of Atlanta in 2008. She left in 2012 for her own spinoff don't be tardy for the wedding which focused on her marriage to beerman the series were re up as don't be tardy and ran for eight seasons for real that show wasn't that good y'all now we got to be strong Girl, this is crazy. Moving on. As it pertains to the tax liens, the federal tax liens on file are for the tax years 2013, 2017, and 2018 and were assessed in 2019, 2020, and 2023. As of March 30th, 2023, they totaled almost $1.2 million. A state tax lien for 2018 worth over $15,000 was also filed by the state of Georgia. The purpose of a tax lien is to protect the government's interest in your property, including your real estate and personal property property to file a lien the irs must assess your tax liability and send a bill if you don't pay in full the irs can file a notice of federal tax lien which pursues creditors on notice that the government has legal right to your property oh i see what they're saying so they're saying like when you file a tax lien bitch when them people come in to try to get your money from the credit cards and all of that the government say ah 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 we got first dibs. Okay, I get it. Let's move on, girl. I'm learning. Anyway, let's get back to the article. It says, this is important because the government often has a priority claim. The lien lets creditors know they may not be first in line if you don't pay other debts. See, I said that. If and when you sell any of your assets, you may be forced to turn over the proceeds to the IRS to satisfy your debt. Girl, please. Bitch, y'all know the IRS ain't nothing but the money police, right, bitch? Girl, the government money police. Let's move on. 
If you pay your tax liability in full, the IRS will release the lien. The IRS may also work with you to remove the lien under other circumstances. But if Zosiac starts paying her bill, the lien could stick around. You can be liened even if you're on a payment plan. A federal tax lien may also continue even after you file for bankruptcy. It's not clear what the next steps might be for Zosiac Beerman. She did not immediately respond to a request for comments. Wow, this is crazy, girl. So they owe all of this money and the federal government is around there saying, bitch, give me my God. Come on now, New Orleans. They saying, first dibs, bitch. Okay. Girl, this is ridiculous. I'm not laughing at these people because we all know that um, finances is the number one reason for the votes down here in America, girl. It's ghetto down here. I'm just saying, if you're in another country, girl, stay over there. It's ghetto over here. Let's get back into this, girl. So shortly after this hit the blogs like crazy, girl, the blogs, the blogs, the blogs started picking it up from baller alert it says former rhoa star kim zosiak and husband croy beerman reportedly owe irs over 1.1 million dollars in unpaid taxes bitch oh my god and look they say remember i didn't say this i wasn't there i'm just telling y'all what they said i didn't say it but they said these are photos of kim zosiak list croy beerman's designer items for sale in her wigs for thousands see pics plus his divorce attorney Attorney files liens against him for unpaid bills as friends are embarrassed by her behavior and feel sorry for the kids. Girl, what about the churn? Look at the things she was selling, girl. Lace front wigs. Two, girl, 20, what? $2,000, bitch. That lace front 27, girl. Girl, if y'all want to buy a lace front wig, hit up Kim. And then she also wants to sell this Chanel large boy bag. I don't know if that means Python. I don't have this type of money or whatever. But it's $6,700. And then she also has some brand new retailed uh, shoes. What this is? Some boots. They say they retail at $2,200. It's a size 39 in, I don't know, the UK. And then a 9 in the US. That's my size. But I ain't got no money. But they say she only wants $1,250 for them, girl. <laughs> and then also we got Polkroy, his Christian Louboutins. Ain't that what they call them? Men's Louboutin size 13 dollars $50 and then she got another size uh 13 men's Louis Vuittons for $650 girl this is so bad girl this is bad let's move on okay shortly after that it was reported to Daily Mail that Kim Zosiak and Croy Beerman ordered to attend mediation to work out their settlement amid ugly divorce battles. So I guess they're what they're doing here is, I guess, trying to come to mediation about the money part. Because it looked like the battle is back and forth and the battle is not yours, it's the Lord. You know, they say that in the song, but I think this battle is Kim and Croy's. But anyway, let's get into the article. The article starts by saying Kim Zosiak and Croy Beerman have now been ordered to attend mediation amid their bitter divorce. TMZ has reported that the warring exes has been instructed to undergo a mediation session to work out a settlement by January 31st. The exes have numerous unresolved issues. A judge in the case has said, however, the judge also believes the county's alternative dispute resolution program can help them out. It has been an ugly few months for Kim, 45, and Croy, 38. I forgot she was older than him. Girl, took advantage of that young man. Ever since they decided to officially end their marriage of 12 years. In the latest of their legal issues, Kim was sued by Chase Bank over unpaid credit card payments. Just one day after Croy was sued by his own attorney, I thought the government came in and said they got first dibs. Get in line, Chase and, and uh, Esquire. Get in line. Now, I ain't gonna hold y'all. The way Kim used to be up here on Real Housewives of Atlanta and even on Don't Be Tardy, I thought the bitch was, I thought she was a very rich bitch. I thought she was like on the next level like Portia did. Portia 15. You up there with Kim K now, huh? But it turns out everything that glitters ain't gold and everything that shine ain't shiny. I don't know what that mean, but you know what I mean? No, y'all don't, because I don't even know what I mean. But you get what I'm saying, you know. Anyways, girl, so this is when things turn left, girl. When I say left, bitch, I mean opposite or right, girl. Left. They said, remember, I did not say it. I was not there. I don't live in no mansion behind the gates in Atlanta. So don't come asking me. I'm just telling y'all what they said. But they said... Croy Beerman explosive fight with Kim Zosiak and they say he said our life is ruined Kim is sleeping with other men and I said bitch she cheating too that whole let, let me say something 
I remember on one of them episodes, she was down there talking about, oh, I'm about to take out this money to go gambling. And I said, that bitch got a problem. She need to call a 1-800 number. But you going to be gambling, putting us in debt, and cheating? Girl, let's get into these videos. Because, see, TMZ be catching all the tea, girl. I don't know if they got a, a bag deal with the police. I don't know what's been going on. But a video has been released by TMZ of police being called to the home for Croy and Kim. Uh, I guess they had got into a DV incident. I'm not sure, but we're going to let you guys watch this video. It is very disturbing. It is very heartbreaking to me because you can really tell at this point, Croy is at his wits end with everything. You can tell at this point, he's just over the whole thing. Uh, I'm going to let y'all watch this video clip and then I'm going to come back with some commentary. Nothing to me. Yeah. Um, come talk to me. What's going on? It's just a bunch of nonsense. All right, come talk to me. Ma'am, stay right there. <laughs> What's going on tonight? We're just having an argument. About what? About our fucking life. Okay, what what happened? What, why, right, it's why our life. Happened? It's destroyed. But, okay, what started the argument? Her inability to fucking solve problems. Okay, or address or do anything. Come over here. Why? Because I want to talk to you away from her. I don't want her to start screaming at you and, and have a whole it's a, argument. It's, it's nothing but an act. It's all a bunch of bullshit. What? What is? Everything she does. Okay, what does she do tonight? Everything. Everything, dude. I, I can't, I'm not going to do this. Because this right here does nothing but fuel her bullshit. I'm not doing this. This is narcissistic behavior. I'm not doing this. I'm just trying to figure out what the There's nothing is. to do. You shouldn't even be here. Who it called was, you? Your kids. Who, what kid? You have kids? I don't know. Whoever's in the house. Yeah, so, he's what, been outside what, this whole time. What 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 was the argument about? Our life! What the, our life! Okay, and it's so fucking destroyed! Why why is it getting so heated? Because our life is destroyed! What don't you understand? There's no money! There's no house! She wants we're we're getting divorced one day and we're not the next! Okay. She's fucking other men! What do you want? Just calm down. Calm down, but I don't have a fucking life! And I don't have somebody who won't fucking listen to me! Calm down. Oh, calm down! Now, you guys seen Croy, and you can honestly tell this man is about to lose his mind. And my heart really goes out to him. I ain't gonna lie. Typically, like I say, I like to stay out of the clear folk business. But with this situation, this video made me want to do a video on it because that really broke my heart. Because number one, his parents tried to warn him about Kim. There were super, super red flags in the beginning of their relationship from her family, from her lifestyle and everything that was going on. But you can tell he just like fell in love with her and wanted to be a good husband. And, you know, I, ultimately, I believe it ended his football career. Let's get into um, Kim Zosiak's response. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, she was playing up that Karen shit like crazy, girl. And I just could tell it. I could spot it a mile away. Y'all take a look at this. What's going on, Ms. Berman? I just, like, I mean, he's just been screaming at me for, like, two hours. Like, a crazy person. Like, a crazy person. Okay. What what was the argument? Why are we all arguing? Because I just, Why is I just want to get a divorce. Like, I just want this to be over. I can't, he wouldn't let me leave this morning. The gate, like, is broke or whatever, so you have to, like, manually open it. He jumped in front of my car. I have all these videos. Like, he blocked me from leaving. And he just started yelling. I said, I have a phone call at 5.30. I can't do this right now. <laughs> Sorry, like my nose is running. That's fine. And then I left. I, I got, finally got out of the gate and I was walking in my robe down the street. And I was like yelling for help to my neighbor, like, please, somebody help me. He's screaming, screaming in my ear, grabbing my robe, like the back hoodie of my of my robe. And my robe. I meant to be like physically and emotionally because I could not take this any, any longer. And my kids, he's like, get out of the house. If I go like walk in, he kicks the kids out. And then if I go, if I come outside, he's like, get inside the house. Around 11 I had a hair appointment at 12 hours. I'm hiding in my car, but he stuck his arm through my window so that the window stopped going up. This morning he did that? No, saying? just now. Like, okay. I'm, I was blocking, putting my window up. I was talking to my son right here, and then he came over and stuck his arm through my window, so the window is, that's why it's down. Otherwise, I would not have my window down with this crazy person. Mm -hmm. But this is the only place I feel safe, and if I can get him to calm down, I can try to leave. This is why my car's back, and I never do this. Today, I did this when I got home from my hair appointment. So I can, like... So around 11 a.m. What is he doing? He's, he's talking to an officer. Oh, he's yelling something. 
Y'all seen her playing up that role. No wonder that man going crazy because he he's saying what is going on. She's basically playing the role and it's just getting out of hand at this point. So anyway, this spilled over into the house. The officers were trying to be very calm with Croy, but you can tell Croy was ready to risk it all, girl. And my heart goes out to him, like I said again. I'm going to let the rest of this whole video play and then I'm going to come back with final commentary because this is a lot. Sir, I did not give you authorization to be in my home. You're going to get pushed for it. Listen to me very quickly. I did not give you authorization. I know my rights. I know my rights. Okay, then stop talking if you know your rights. I'm going to tell you your rights. I'm going to inform you your rights. We're here for a lawful reason. To investigate a domestic violence situation. Right, where the person is at work. Your kids are the ones that called. I need to talk to them. And I can bring them outside. But you do not have the authority to be in my home. You're going to stand up You do not have the authority to be in my home. What we're trying to get is at least for important stuff. Issue if we if nobody can compromise. Well, I know you'll have attorneys, so you need to talk to your attorneys about it. Well, this is new. I've been living in the master. This is the first night. I asked them to switch files. So this is a serious situation for us because he's also it's also his property. There's no manipulation. I don't want to be with Troy. I've not wanted to be with Troy for a very long time. This is why we're at where we're at. Listen to me, if you do not provide access to that, what? sir, if you continue on this road, it's not going to go well. Because you are you are now making me feel very uncomfortable and unsafe. I need you to calm down. And that he doesn't really have the means to go anywhere right now. So if you do, it might be helpful, but you're probably worried about all your stuff being left behind. The problem, if, especially if you're liquidating stuff, you need to get some people over here, hire some people over there, get your stuff involved mm. then if that's the case. I mean, I'm, you know I'm not a lawyer, saying? I can't offer you legal advice, I'm just telling you. Because if you're worried about it being liquidated or taken from yeah, you, because if, 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 if he allows it to be taken out of this house and he says that's like, then, you know, it's yours now because it's out of the house. So that car is in the, he took the other car key. To the car out there, like he's just sneaky. I don't have, like, if I spend as much time, if he got a job, how about that? If he got a job, he hasn't had one in seven years, um, then maybe he wouldn't have so much time to sit here in my closet. Like, get a job, that's the problem. Issue with who's going to retain the house later on as well, too. Yeah. That'll be something that comes up with the lawyers as well. Neither one of us are going to be able to because oh. of the situation she's put us in. Oh, okay. Hear that, man. All right, so you guys seen those clips, and I'm gonna be completely honest. That is a mess. That entire marriage is a mess. And if I'm Croy, I would get as far away from Kim as possible because I believe, and this is just my belief, this is all Kim's doing. Everything that they're into, everything that's going wrong in their relationship is probably, in my belief, like I said, what Kim's doing is. So look, before we get out of here, I found some more clips. So there was another clip of Croy basically describing to the police officer on another occasion that Kim has some kind of uh, mental health issues, I'll say that, and basically how he's dealing with the gambling, he's dealing with all these other things, and that he's just basically like over it at this point and he's trying to work through it. Let's take a look at that clip. Real addictions, the gambling, and the overspending. Any chance of you guys ever like reconciling or like figuring well, it out? Or? she has to go to you. She, she has. She has to go. She has uh, some significant issues. She has, uh, like I said, Two major compulsive behavioral addictions, the gambling and the overspending, uh, probably alcohol abuse. And she has childhood trauma, PTSD, uh, narcissism, and some severe unresolved issues that, that, that she Is that refused. something that you guys have went to together? Or are you saying from no, knowing we, her that's so what we you're... tried to go to couples counseling and then what she did is, is use what he said and manipulated and created false boundaries to continue the abuse, right? So right. she runs away to stonewall and avoid right. because she quote needs privacy because the counselor said that humans deserve privacy right so it's refusing to resolve problems trying to use it as an oh, agenda yeah, yeah, for what weaponizing right. everything and, and what what gets her to continue to have control uh, and she mm -hmm. control over everything in the entire marriage from from I mean everything, absolutely everything, money and companies and what we do and how we do it and where we go and, yeah. and uh, it's just textbook, it's literal textbook and, and uh, our older daughter. Have you fought aware. back against that the entire time or you just yeah, kind of well, recently have just said you know. It was very minimal but 
certain things happen that, that she uh, got very upset about, did not handle it uh, appropriately. There was no infidelity or anything like that. I've, I've, I've been a, a, a stand up husband for, uh, in my opinion, for this entire marriage. And, and there's been times where I have reacted the wrong way to the abuse that I have received. That's part of the growth, sure. though. That's growth. Sure. And uh, so, but um, yeah, no, that, that process has just, or that, that problem has gotten worse. And, and, and I think the, the gambling has just melted her brain. It's like it's gone. It's, there's no... Has that been something that's gone on the whole time, or is that a recent thing? So, well, so it's, it's, it's easy to... Or it's, it's not easy, but it's, it's much more uh, manageable when you have to go to a physical location to gamble, right? There's no casinos here in Georgia. You have to go to Maybe charity. Online, uh, but online. Online, yeah. which is illegal. Yeah. But... It's it's the minute she wakes up to the minute she goes to bed in the middle of the night. It's it's I can't even imagine that that how somebody can do that for that what kind long. Of, what kind of game on Slot. Slot machines. And she thinks that she knows to push the button. Yeah, where no, it's like literally she on her phone she'll push the button and the reels will spin on her phone. It's like a yeah, screen. but it's like you don't have a really probability of winning on that. No. The, the odds are low on that one because it's yeah. computer. Yeah, it's, it's not like any any chance you guys seen that and let me just say something when someone has a gambling addiction a lot of people may not notice that gambling addictions are just as bad as like drug addictions and i don't know if a lot of you guys notice i lived with a person who had a gambling addiction before and it was one of the hardest times of my life so like i said croy has been describing the things that's been going wrong with this marriage and with her and he wants her to get help and go to rehab and it's just ridiculous now moving on there was a time before where Brielle, I believe it was, one of her daughters called the cops because they were arguing and fussing. And it was probably about money or her traveling or doing other things or maybe infidelity because he did say that. Um, let's get into that situation and then I'll come back for final commentary. My dad's claiming he didn't call. My mom's claiming she didn't call. I don't really know what. Okay. Where are they at? In the master. Okay. Need to have them come out here, please. Are they having issues today? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I called too, and then I hung up. But I called for like. I think they're like in a deep conversation. I told them that you guys were here, but they said that they don't really need anything now. So. Well, maybe one of them. Okay. We're just required to make sure everybody's all right. Oh. Okay. So we really have to see them. Because she... do the history. I know. I know. You know what I mean. So, yeah. and if you called, so. So you call for a reason, right? Well, I just heard chaos, and my first instinct now yeah. right. is just to call 911 instead of inserting myself in the drama. So. What did you hear going on? Just mumbling of a suitcase. We're supposed to leave to LA today, me and my mom. Okay. And so now we're just, I just changed our place to tomorrow. But I could just hear chaos, and I was asleep, and it woke me up. Okay. So, like yelling or. I couldn't even mumble or make out what the mumble was. It was just like a lot of fuck yous and whatever. So yeah. I don't think I saw, I mean, I didn't see anything physical. I don't think my sister saw anything physical. It was just, yeah. Now I'm, when I'm home, I want to call 911 instead of insert myself in this. So. No, absolutely. Yeah, and that's why. So, yeah, due to the history we got it. So we can ask there's a 911 hang up. So if you called and hung up, or if it was the home phone, um, yeah. somebody called and hung up, and then. Uh, so we just got to make sure. That was they... probably me and Kaya. Kind of all just like, if you see anything, know to call 911 so someone's like alerted. Right. Instead of it all being here safe. Yeah, for sure. Oh, well, okay. if you could just tell them that we just need to put eyes on them and have them come out real quick. It okay. won't take long. I'm trying to pack and just empty out my suitcase. So that's all. So I've met. Yeah. All good. We just took my wigs, took my suitcases, and that's it's just whatever, but we're fine. Yeah. We're I'm leaving. Yeah, we're good. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're trying to get behind again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, she heard me yelling, but she know. I mean, obviously, we're trying to. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. I mean, okay. So you guys are. I'm trying to just get on my flight, man. 
Yeah, so like, I guess she changed all flights to tomorrow, but... Yeah, that's what she said. That's what she, she said. said yeah. And you're taking off the... Uh, yeah. And now I'm in uh, Columbia for three weeks. Fucking working for three weeks. So you're, gonna, like, you're not going to be here for three weeks? Okay. Okay. September 11th, oh. I'm out. So if you have any problems, you need to stand by while you pack or anything. Fucking idiot, I'm packing all this. Yeah. Alrighty. All good. Thanks, guys. Okay. okay. See, you too. Take care. Now y'all saw that interaction with the cops and you know, honestly, my heart goes out for the kids. It goes out to the kids because a lot of people stay in marriages simply because of the kids. And this is the type of stuff that they witness and they don't even realize the amount of, of trauma that they place on their kids when they do that. So I, like I said, my heart goes out to those kids, but ultimately this is one thing I wanted to point out, bitch. Do you see how skinny Kim is? Bitch, do Kim do nothing but smoke cigs, drink a little liquor, and gamble all day, girl? Is you eating? Girl, this is big. This is big. Well, not Kim big, but you know what I mean? Like, this is big, girl. I listen. Listen, Lindas. And listen, Lennox. This is big. Looking at how frail Kim is. And I know in Hollywood, it's the whole thing with everybody's going back then and, and, and getting rid of the butt and the boobs and all of that. I get that. But... This is kind of alarming to me. Kim is extremely thin. She looks stressed out. Um, and it wouldn't surprise me if there was some kind of uh, drug abuse or alcohol abuse going on here. Because this does not look healthy at all. Like, literally at all. I feel so bad for the kids, like I said. Anyway, final commentary goes like this. I believe when Croy came into this relationship, he fell in love with Kim. I believe that he wanted to do everything right and be a perfect husband and actually become a family man as he's from Montana. And it seems like that's kind of the way he was raised and like reared. And I believe that he wanted all those values and family and everything. And I believe that Kim was just not that girl. I believe Kim has never been that girl. Kim has been the girl who's always chased the bright lights, the fame, the riches, the fortune, all those things. And unfortunately, they say I opposites attract but in this certain situation as it pertains to a lifelong marriage they actually do not attract because when you have values of something that is more sentimental and family oriented and your partner has values that is something more of um how do you say uh in the streets or for the streets it never works out and it's just sad and it's just what it is now this beautiful home that these kids have come accustomed to that they're used to being in uh they you know it, it, everything that they've known all the memories in this home is going to be snatched away from them because mom allegedly has a drinking problem a gambling problem and a cheating problem according to croy now and it sucks because like i said with bullying and everything going on in the schools these kids are really going to go through it if they aren't already. And I just feel bad for the kids more than anybody because as adults, we make decisions and we learn from them and we move on. It pertains to the kids. They're typically the one who suffer the most because they have no dog in the fight, nor can they fight for anything that's happening. Now, like I said, other than the kids, I do have a soft spot for Croy because like I said, we've never seen this man angry. We ain't never seen him yell. We've always seen him support Kim no matter what, even when I believe he knew she was telling a bold faced lie or when she was doing the extra and the most he's always been there for her and I feel like right now with everything crumbling he's just losing it and like I said my heart goes out to Croy Croy you a fine man you a good man you can find you a new woman um I'm pretty sure there's another clear woman up in Atlanta looking for a good man a good man Savannah go ahead and leave Kim down in the gutter where you should have left her the first time and move on and I just feel bad for you you can get your finances back child all of that's retrievable What's important now is focusing on your mental health, your emotional health, and also your physical health because that all ties in together and also raising your kids. That would be my number one priority and I would probably ask for full custody since you've been Mr. Mom. I ain't gonna lie. I make that help pay me child support, Croy. Do you hear me? Croy, you clear too. I know she's a clear woman and it typically falls in her favor, but you got documentation saying you've been taking care of them children, getting them up, getting them ready for school, doing homework and all of that, feeding them and all of that, cleaning up and everything thing go get full custody on that heifer she don't raise churn anyway them churn raise themselves allegedly anyway what y'all think about this girl this is a lot what y'all think about croy what y'all think about kim y'all drop down in the comments and let me know you know what y'all believe about this and who's who, look whose side y'all on who y'all
y'all believe is telling the truth and who y'all believe is lying. I personally believe Croy. I don't see why he'd have a reason to lie and the passion behind the girl was just enough for me. Anywho, like I said, drop down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on every single platform they have at Voodoo Doll TV and I'll see y'all hoes later. Bye. We take them horseback riding. We're going through the Ozarks. Come on, Daddy, please, five minutes. Next exit, please, Roy. Okay, we're not pulling over. But let's be realistic. Any other area other than Vegas, I'm right. going to be thinking Vegas. Yeah. Roy, please, I need five minutes. We have Vegas. Vegas, I'm sorry. Vegas. <laughs> sorry, baby. Ten minutes, five spins out. If I believe that, I would pull over. Pull over. I can I swear on my life. Yeah, yeah don't do it, Dad. Don't do it. Yeah, be quiet. Like yeah. I swear on my life. Yeah. Don't yeah. be quiet. Hi, honey. How are you? I need to take out 25. 2,500? Yeah. Some more money, honey? I need more money. Give me some more money. No. The way you're is unacceptable. No. Say stupid Which one are you going to get? From court? I love this. So it's like a 400 grand? Yeah. Yes. Oh, God. Crying, poor Christ. But I love it. And that's your wallet? I brought two pairs of earrings and a bracelet, and I also kept the bracelet. I mean, there is no such thing as human cabinet. It's like old times, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, Jealousy is a disease. Get well soon, bitch. Everybody is jealous. June. Mr. Carroll. How you give the voodoo doll time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo doll is? The nigga you just had up here.